I'm Kevin Elizabeth, a wedding photographer based in San Diego. And recently I had a request on Instagram to do a video with tips about booking a boudoir session. So this is something that I do offer. It's typically only really talked about with my brides. It's not something I have out on my website or my Instagram, but I love doing these and I do them for several brides every year. And I think they're either a great way to gift yourself images of how beautiful you look right now or to gift your fiance before or after on the wedding day. Whatever it's for, it's definitely something that is really fun, but also very intimidating for most women. Um, I say women because I don't do doudoir shoots. Um, that's something that I'm not super comfortable with. So I focus on women and boudoir shoots. And it's something that I have a lot of fun doing because typically going into the session, the woman will feel nervous and uncomfortable, but five, 10 minutes in, she feels so confident and so beautiful and relaxed and at ease. And I love being able to give that experience to brides and show them that they can be vulnerable and also very confident at the same time. So when I talk about boudoir sessions, um, it's really something that for me is very tasteful. I have seen very raunchy and honestly, sometimes what I feel like are kind of tacky boudoir sessions. I am much more of a fan of the understated, more elegant, soft, fine art boudoir sessions. That's my personal style. You might like the more raunchy pinup type thing. I personally don't, so I don't shoot that way. I shoot a lot softer, and I find that the way that I'm shooting is a little bit more feminine, and it's a lot more elegant of a boudoir session. It's just very tasteful. So tips for your session. The first one is to find an amazing photographer. But not only that, I want you to look at their boudoir photos and see what their posing looks like. For me, when I'm shooting a boudoir session, I am almost never silent. I am constantly giving direction and supportive comments to the brides that I'm shooting. So I will direct every bit of their body in a boudoir session because I know she always wants to look her best and by giving her a ton of direction, I can do that. Some photographers will just simply give a pose and leave it at that, either because they don't want to dive deeper or because they don't know what tweaks to make to help improve their pose and make their bride look that much better. That is something that I focus a lot on. So you need to find somebody like that if you feel like you need extra help and you wanna make sure that your angles are perfect. So that's the first thing. And once you've booked your photographer, the second thing to do is to find a location. Now, the key for this is natural light and a lot of it. You can have somebody shoot it on flash. I personally like to work with natural light because when the woman is in there already in front of my camera, extra equipment for lighting might feel a little bit intimidating. So I do like that softer natural light. It feels a little bit less crowded in the room and I find it less intimidating. So that's just my personal style. I do know people who work with flash and do it beautifully, some who don't and it looks terrible but that's for another topic. So basically find a location with a lot of natural light and that is clean and not cluttered. So if you have a very cluttered bedroom but a lot of natural light, you either need to clean that thing up or book a hotel room. And that is my second option, is to book a hotel room. Now, if a bride comes to me and says, I wanna book a room, you know, my house is not great, or I can't have my boyfriend or fiance or husband out of the house while we're doing this, because he works at home or schedules, whatever, I recommend the hotel. So if she comes to me and says that, then I already know a couple of hotels in town that I think are really beautiful for boudoir sessions. So they have gorgeous lighting already. They have very clean, neutral interiors, and it's gonna work really well for photos. So that is a huge thing is light. You need light, and you need light that you can work with to create beautiful highlights and shadows. So my boudoir work is often playing a little bit more with shadows because that really can sculpt out a woman's curves or accentuate them, whatever her goals are. Having that different kind of shadow and light helps me play up whatever features she loves and kind of minimize the features she doesn't love. So so that's a really huge thing is a space with a lot of light. If your room is dark, it's probably not going to work unless they want to bring in flash. So that is a big tip. That's probably the number one most important thing in the session. Now, the third thing is to make sure that you are choosing outfits that you feel beautiful and comfortable in. So I recommend for boudoir sessions, probably three to four outfits. 
It's a little bit more than I would do for an engagement session, but it's just small stuff. So it's pretty easy to change. Or you could have three and then you could throw on like a beautiful robe over the top of one or two of them to change it up. Um, you can even bring your veil. I think it's really beautiful when brides include their veil. We do it really tasteful. It's not cheesy. So it's just a gorgeous textural element to add into your session. So if you want, hopefully your photographer will be able to help you with your wardrobe inspiration. I actually give a beautiful PDF guide to any bride who books me for her boudoir session with different outfit options and places that she can go. So it's definitely something that's helpful. I also love when they send me photos of their options or they just bring a bunch of stuff to the shoot and I will pick for them what I think will photograph best. Now the last one is to make sure that you can relax. So it's something that if you need a drink to relax or music, I usually have on music anyway so it's not so quiet. Definitely do this. Have one drink, not two. Make sure that you're relaxed, but you're still coherent. And that's really gonna help you ease into the session. If you find that certain smells relax you like lavender, light some candles, or put on some incense, whatever it is, that's going to calm you down, do it. So anything and everything that will help you, use it to your advantage. Um, and I guess I really have one more tip for you guys, and that is that when you see your photos, try really hard not to say anything negative about yourself. So sometimes I will have clients, they'll come into view their photos for ordering, and some will love a lot of them, and some will nitpick everything about themselves. And there's a point where there's only so much I can do with direction and support and where somebody just simply doesn't love themselves and picks on the way that they look. And it's about nothing that I could change. It's really about them. So for those clients, I have to tell them, okay, you're not allowed to say anything else bad about yourself, only positive things from here. Because I definitely think it is very scary to look at photos of yourself in general if you're not used to it, but to look at photos of yourself partially naked naked is really hard. There's a lot of things that we might want to critique about ourselves, but I really urge you to see the beauty in it and to remember that in 30 years, you're going to be like, wow, like I looked so good then. And I wish that I loved my body a little bit more. I hear that with time comes wisdom and wisdom comes acceptance. So just try to be positive, think good things or move past an image that you hate. If there's one tiny little thing, maybe the photographer can kind of liquefy it or shape it up or edit it out a little bit, um, whether they charge extra or they include that service when when you buy a print from them, that's something that I offer. If they're ordering photos in an album or prints through me, I will retouch up little things. I'm not going to turn them into somebody that's not them, but if there's a little bit of an arm bulging somewhere, I'll tuck it in a little bit if they want me to. It's not a call I make on my own. It's something that they would have to request, but you can do little things. If there's something small you don't like, um, maybe if your teeth aren't white enough, that can be changed. That's fine, but just try to be positive. And that's honestly probably my best tip for you looking at any photos of yourself is to be positive. So I hope you all enjoyed this video on tips for your boudoir session and if you did please be sure to leave a like comment down below with future video requests and i will see you guys next time bye